How's it going, everybody? It's Stas here. Welcome back to another video, and happy Sunday, by the way, guys. Hope you're all having a great weekend and a great start to your summer. I mean, I guess summer's been going for a couple weeks now, but we just got the pool rocking and rolling last night, first pool night of the summer, and boy, was it a great night, man. I'm excited. So we're going to break down Palantir in this one, the charts, my thoughts, and of course, later in the video, we're going to go over the indexes and maybe some other stocks that I'm looking at so feel free to smash that like button and subscribe for more content and you might as well get up to 15 stocks for Momo each up to two thousand dollars guys with at least a one hundred dollar deposit use that link down below the qr code right here or go to stasurfest.com slash Momo and with that being said guys cheers let's get right into the video so check it out palantir ended up having a pretty strong day um a pretty strong green day on friday it went up 30 cents up 1.3 percent on the day and we uptrended pretty much all day you guys can see we opened up at 23 dollars per share and we ran all the way to a high of 23 dollars and 72 cents right at the start of power hour on friday and that's where we ended up pulling back into the close and after the bell now that I'm looking at it we pulled down even more so we closed at $23.57 and Palantir got down to $23.43 as of the aftermarket on Friday so you guys can see pretty good day in the midst of a rocky day for the stock market on Friday which again we'll talk about the indexes later in this video so you guys can see heading into this week we have a big level of resistance coming up. A couple actually, right? One's at $24 and another one is at $24.50. And the main reason why I'm looking at these levels heading into this week is because look, on I think this was on Monday or Tuesday. No, this was on Tuesday. We failed to break $24.00. Then on Wednesday, we actually did break $24, but we failed to break $24.50, which makes $24.50 the next main level. Then on Thursday, we tried breaking $24 in the morning at open, but obviously if I zoom in and show you guys this, we failed to do that. And obviously now as of Friday, we closed under $24, but we ended up running all day which clearly shows momentum is there for the bulls. And we actually got a golden cross and we closed above pretty much both moving averages on this five day, five minutes. So again, heading into this week, 24 bucks is huge. 24 50 is huge. And we can see, which isn't the best sign for the bulls, I guess, arguably a head and shoulders in the making. You guys can see that on this 10 day, 30 minute. If I zoom in a bit here, we have the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder. We kind of sold off a bit again on Thursday into Friday morning, but the rebound on Friday is giving the bulls a ton of hope. And if we end up taking out again, that 24 level, 2450, that head and shoulders, man, guess what? That head and shoulders goes out the window. So let me see these other time frames here on PLTR guys on the 20 day one hour chart you are noticing here which is really good for the bulls that we did get buyers to come in above the 180 moving average on this time frame which mind you we've held this um, you know we've held an uptrend over the past couple of weeks which is really good news so we got buyers at 2280 23 bucks rallied all friday and again it all comes back down to 24 dollars 2450 that needs to break and we'll see if this momentum from friday continues right it would be ideal for the Bulls if we gapped over 24 bucks, preferably 24.50 at some point early in the week, and uh, you know we'll see if that continues throughout the uh, you know the rest of the week. And on the four-hour time frame here, guys, we have that golden cross. Of course, we're above both moving averages, which is great. So the mid 20s. It just needs to break. The Bulls got to get out of there, and I'm still sticking to it, guys. I'm thinking Palantir 30 bucks by the end of the year or shortly after the end of the year. I could be wrong. Call me crazy, but I'm still thinking that we get to that point. So this is a massive week coming up for Palantir stock, and I'm in, baby. I'm in. I'm holding shares. I'm pumped about it. 
And who knows, maybe I'll even buy the breakout. Time will tell. I'd love to know what you guys are doing in the comments down below. And of course, don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for a Moomoo. Like I said, each up to $2,000 with at least a $100 deposit. Just use that link down below, the QR code right here, or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. Guys, it's free money. And of course, it helps out the channel. I appreciate you all. As always, cheers to that, by the way. I forget that I even give you guys a cheer earlier in the video either way we'll do a double cheers cheers again man i appreciate you all for tuning in i'll even take a sip of my coffee today guys all right cheers again triple cheers so yeah pltr mid-20s that needs to break and let me show you guys these indexes very quickly and some stocks before we do uh you know before we do get out of here by the way happy father's day man i forgot happy father's day to all the fathers out there watching you are well appreciated very much appreciated i'm not a father yet well i guess i do have a dog so technically i'm a dog dad but not a human dad yet <clears throat> at some point in the near future Will be, though, for sure. Uh, but again, all the dads out there watching, very much appreciated. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you all for tuning in, too, by the way, on this Sunday. So we can see here SPY is heading into this week looking very bullish. Let me show you this, guys. Clearly, we have resistance at about 545, 544. That's where we struggled on, it looks like, Friday, Thursday, and Wednesday. But at the same time, what do we have? we have higher lows being made, right? Higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. So what is this? This is an ascending triangle on SPY. And we closed very nicely on Friday. We pretty much rallied all day after gapping down in the pre-market, right? So essentially, we just recovered the loss from the pre-market all day Friday. It is what it is. But like I said, that's setting us up here for a breakout, potentially. If we do take out 545, which I'll set my alert there right now. Let me do that. $545 per share. Mark is at or above. So I'm telling you guys, if SPY takes that out, it looks like it wants to, we could be getting, yet again, another all-time high, and we could be going even higher. And how could I forget Triple Q, guys? Let me show you what the NASDAQ 100 is up to right now, which this looks pretty overbought, not going to lie. Uh, same with SPY, but I think Triple Q is looking even more overbought. But either way, it looks like the bulls want more. We went up half a percent on Friday. My alert's at 480 right now. And we can clearly see we have an ascending triangle kind of as well that's already pr uh, playing out here on Triple Q. You guys see these higher lows being made into this 478, 480-ish resistance, and we're starting to break out towards 480 as of close on Friday. So I'm liking the way that's looking here, guys, on Triple Q for the Bulls heading into this week. And let me show you some quick stocks that I'm looking at, a quick breakdown here. Shopify, I'm really liking as a trade. Uh, you could argue it is a bit overbought in the very short term, but once you pull the layers back a bit, you're going to be like, hold on, wait a second. This looks great on the three-year chart for you know for more upside. Look at this channel. We're holding this beautifully, potentially a, mo a move towards 75, 80, 85, maybe even higher is in the cards here. Just looking at the charts, guys, just based on on the charts. I'm really liking Shopify right now, which we called out a while ago. I mean, this this is not a new call out. We called this out in the low 60s. Now we're pushing, uh, you know, 70 bucks per share. So Shopify, I really like here. Uh, let me see what else is moving. Hershey's another one. HSY, which took a bit of a beating recently from 212 down to 185. But this is also still holding trend. So I like this more as a recovery play. Um, you guys can see right here, boom, if we could start finding support, 185, 190, maybe HSY could start rebounding more from there. So yeah, those are two extra ones that I'm watching on top of Palantir this week. And again, a quick breakdown on the indexes. So what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. We're trying to get the 50,000 subs this year and eventually 100,000 subs. However long it takes, guys, we're getting that. We're getting that 100K plaque. It's coming at some point. And without you, it's not possible. So make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.